Hey guys, this is Ted from Silver Knight PCs. Today we're going to go over the 5600 XT Red Dragon and updating the video card BIOS on this card. Some people aren't aware, but there's free performance games available to owners of 5600 XTs if they update the video card BIOS. Initially when these cards shipped, they didn't have the best vBIOS on them and their memory bandwidth this was somewhat limited on certain models. When AMD released the cards, shortly thereafter they released a vBIOS update with most board partner manufacturers to be able to update the performance of the card so that way the memory runs at the correct memory bandwidth. Now what we're going to go over today is how to do that, how to understand if your card needs the video card BIOS update or if it doesn't, and then understanding the steps necessary, at least with this specific card, how to do it. Alright, so first things first, we're going to run User Benchmark. User Benchmark is a free benchmarking software that lets you test all your hardware across your computer from your processor to your graphics card to everything. Now, you'll see this computer is overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz, okay? Um, this uh, is a Ryzen 5 3600. And the important thing to note here is that we're focusing on how the RX 5600 XT, Red Dragon specifically, performs against other RX 57, 5600 XTs. It doesn't really matter if it's the uh, faster than a 2080 Ti. User benchmark is not the best benchmark when it's comparing different types of cards or different types of processors. Um, it's very single core speed biased on the processor side of things and the graphics tests are kind of light at best but it does give you good relative performance for similar products. And at the very least, you can you know, check to see if everything is running A-OK. -okay. If something is drastically underperforming, you'll know. So it just completed the SSD test. And I think it's checking, okay, now it's on the graphics card. So we're gonna go through the different graphics card tests and you'll see these are very slow resolution tests. They're nothing too crazy. You're gonna get hundreds of FPS in these tests. This is pretty normal. Um, the thing we're looking for though is how is it going to perform against cards with the exact same um, performance level, right? The 5600 XT versus other 5600 XT. And I think Sphere, okay, now it's doing the sustained rights. Now sustained rights are basically just 100% low disk tests. They're very, uh, just to make sure the disk is running properly. Um, this is obviously more important with the hard drive, right? Spinning disk platter. And after this test, we should be able to see how it came out. Second. And we'll also kind of take a look here at the performance of the graphics card. Uh, we're trying to see what the clock speed is running at. All right, so the final test results are here. Okay. So what's important to note is the graphics card is way underperforming. It's in the 12th percentile. And the graph or the CPU is performing well. Same thing with the SSD. Uh, the flash drive is kind of, I mean, it's really not relevant, but it's running just fine. And same thing with the memory kit. Okay, they're all in the green with the exception of the graphics card. So what we need to do here is to make sure that we um, update the vBIOS on the card. We can see it's underperforming. So what we'll go ahead and do is open up, open up Rufus. Okay, now Rufus is a USB prep software. Okay, what it lets us do is basically load MS-DOS onto a thumb drive. Okay, what's important to understand about that is that we're going to have to use DOS to be able to effectively um, flash the video card BIOS. The specific card requires DOS to happen. So we're going to format the drive and load DOS onto there. Okay, this is basically configuring the flash drive. Okay, that's done. Alright, there we go. Now we got MS DOS. Everything's on here. Cool. Perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and Google here and look up the graphics card, which is the Red Dragon. All right, and we're gonna go here to Power Colors website, and they have the 
video card BIOS available for download. So we just make sure we match it up. Red Dragon. You can see that the stock clock versus the unleashed clock. So this is a, you know an increase in both clock speed on the graphics under the different profiles. And most importantly, this fixes the memory bandwidth issue on the stock VBIOS. Now you'll notice here, we'll select the correct card, which is the Red Dragon, and download the RAR file, which is the file that we're going to be using, a program we're going to be using to flash the video card. Okay, I'm going to go extract it, open it up, and then we're going to go ahead and copy these files over to our MS-DOS installation. So what the next step here is going to be, we're going to reboot and make sure that MS-DOS loads and then we got to run AMD Flash, which is the application here. And you do have two different profiles to pick from. You have the OC profile and then the silent profile. We're going to be loading the OC profile for slightly better clock speeds. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, so we went ahead and rebooted. Let's go ahead and select the USB thumb drive that's got MS-DOS. All right, we're booted up into DOS, and we'll go ahead and look at the directory here, and we're gonna run the batch file for the OC profile. Okay, so basically we're flashing the OC VBIOS on there, which will give you the higher clock speeds. There is a silent profile, which we're not gonna be running. Um, the it's not necessary if you only plan to run the OC profile, but you can do both in case you wanted to update both. And okay, looks like it's successful and we got a reboot. You'll see here, there's a slight change in the eBIOS version, it's been updated. That's it. All right, we're back in Windows. Let's go ahead and rerun our benchmark test. It's important to understand here is that we have to focus on the graphics card performance. We are using recording software, so there might be slightly lower CPU performance. That's pretty normal. We'll go ahead and open up Radeon performance. That way we can see how the graphics card performs, what the clock speed it boosts up to, anything else. Right now it's running at 613. This is pretty normal. Most graphics cards down clock when they're not in heavy use. And you'll see the CPUs bursting up in performance. That's normal. They're doing the CPU to test first, then the memory test. We just got to focus on the graphics card. And oh, memory tests are done. It'll do the solid state tests. All right, so now we're looking at the video tests, running again just as before, right? So exact same tests. You're still gonna get hundreds of frames, perfectly normal, what's expected in this type of test. But the main thing is how is it performing against other 5600 XTs, right? Before it was in the 12th percentile, it was drastically underperforming. All right, now we got the sustained rights. Same deal, hard drive. Go ahead and look at the clock speed, and it looked like it topped out around 1735, maybe just above that. Cool, so that means that we're getting adequate performance numbers compared to what the 5600 Red Dragon advertises on the website. Our color. So, okay, now we're all done with the tests ahead and see what the benchmarks yield. So, cool. We're performing above expectations. The graphics card is working properly again. Additionally, everything else is good. Pretty normal to see the CPU benchmark go down whenever you're recording at the same time. It's part of the overhead of recording, so don't pay too much attention to that. The main thing we're focusing on is, again, the graphics card. So, and then that's a success. So, in summary, this is definitely a, a must-do kind of thing on any kind of 5600 XT that is underperforming. Um, it's a service that we provide on every single graphics card we do. Um, and it's, it's just free performance. It doesn't cost you anything. 
you just get unlock a higher memory bandwidth and a slightly higher clock speed. Um, it's with an AMD spec. It doesn't void any warranties, and um, it's definitely well supported. And this is how you do it on a RX 5600 XT. If you ever need anything computer related, we're the one stop shop for that. We build custom gaming PCs every day, and we'd love to have your business. Have a great day, guys.